then in today's behind the scenes video, I want to share with you some composition tips that I look out for when I'm taking photos in urban locations. So like the streets or city streets, places where there's lots of lines and textures, fences, driveways and things like that going on. So today I'm going to be using my Sony a7 III with the Zeiss 50mm f1.4. Today's model is Adelaide, Lydia's done makeup and Dan is behind the camera filming. Let's get started. <laughs> When I'm out shooting in urban locations with lots of lines and colors, that's exactly what I'm looking out for for the backgrounds of my photos. So we came across this solid black roller door, which I think will make a really cool backdrop for the portrait. So I have her leaning up against this fence, which is like a creamy white color, which is a nice contrast to the black backdrop. And we also have this beautiful plant that's kind of sneaking in <laughs> to the frame as well to add a little bit of color. And I'm cropping the photo just underneath her blazer so we can see a little bit of the pattern of the dress. So we'll get some shots here. I also want to take a full body shot here because this location is just very clean and I think it'll work well to show off like the whole outfit. So something that I'm keeping in mind is I'm trying to keep Adelaide like in the middle of the frame and I'm also making sure to keep all my lines as straight as possible in the shot as well. So I'm standing directly in front of the fence so we don't have any like weird, awkward cropping and lines in the frame that will become distracting. Even though I didn't want a completely solid blank backdrop, I think I kind of want to take advantage of it while we've got it because it's kind of rare to come across like a solid black roller door. So I'm going to get a shot where you can only see the black backdrop. And instead of having Adelaide right up against the background, I have her a couple of meters away from the background. And I always love doing this when I'm shooting against a solid wall is creating some depth between the subject and the background. So in this case, it's going to help blur out the lines in the roller door and make it appear a, like a solid black color in the background. And another reason why I'm doing this is so she's got a little bit more light on her face as well. So if she was right up against the roller door, that balcony up above is going to shade her face and she's gonna blend into the photo. But because Adelaide's standing a bit more forward, she's got a lot of light coming into her face and she's standing out from the dark background. Before we move on to my next composition tips, I want to let you know more about the sponsor of today's video, Artlist. I am a huge fan of Artlist. In case you don't know, I've been using them to source all my music since I started my YouTube channel. Artlist offers unlimited downloads to music and sound effects, and it's so easy to find new music to use. I love that you just click on the waveform to quickly preview each song. Artlist offers a personal plan that covers all your own social channels, and they make music licensing super easy. You can use your downloaded songs forever, even after your subscription has expired. You can also go for the unlimited plan, which covers everything from personal to commercial projects. So if you want to try out Artlist for yourself, please use the link in my description to get an extra two months free added to your yearly subscription. Another thing that I'm looking out for in a photo shoot location, especially when it's super busy and there's a lot going on, are colors. So as you can see, we found this cool kind of like white house with a white fence, which I think is going to match her outfit. She's got the white sleeves of the jacket poking out and then the white flowers on her dress. So that's gonna tie into the white location as well. So finding little things that match with the outfit is a really cool way of finding like a cool uh, portrait location that has colors that tie in together. I actually like it with your leg. Oh yeah, no, that's cool. the back and get like your whole shoe in it too. Oh, I like that. I can, I'm using a little bit of this plant for some foreground blur in the shot. And then let me get a shot with you looking back as well. 
Yeah, that looks so cool. Very moody. There are a lot of lines in the background of this shot, so I'm trying to shoot from some different angles so they're not running directly through Adelaide's face. Lovely. Do you want to lean your hand on the fence? So I was saying that there are a lot of lines in the background, as you can see, there's like that fence and then that white bit <laughs> going there. And it looks a little bit awkward when you have the lines running directly through your subject's face. So I found a really cool spot. If I just shoot from up high a little bit, I've got a face completely against the white part of the house. And then you've got that little angle that's framing her face really nicely in the portrait. Another thing I really love doing when we're shooting in urban locations is to find as many spots as possible where the subject can interact with the location. So instead of just having them standing against something or sitting against something, have them actually lean against fences and hold onto poles and like do things with their location. And I feel like that turns into a much more immersive portrait and it adds a story to the set of photos that you're taking as well. So just here we've got Adelaide hanging. This is like literally a, a parking sign, but it looks so cool because she gets to lean back into the leaves and it creates like such an interesting pose and just looks a lot more interesting compared to if she was just standing in that spot. I mean, standing looks good as well, but I like having the option and having something a little bit more interesting and something fun for your subject to do as well. Let's get up a little bit. This is really cool. Very moody because we've got lighting on one side of Adelaide's face and then very dark on the other side, but it looks really nice. And actually your eyes stand out really well here too. Something that I love looking out for when I'm shooting on location are leading lines. So we found these really cool stairs and I'm gonna shoot directly facing the stairs. So in the photo, it looks like they continue on and this is gonna create some depth to our portrait. So again, instead of just standing against a blank backdrop, we've got like that immersiveness and like that feeling that the image continues past like the frame, which I think looks really nice. So in a location like this, something to keep in mind is where your lighting is coming from. So to the left of us, we have this rock and the side of Adelaide's face is really dark. And from this side, we have all the light. So I'm gonna make sure that she keeps her face towards the light. Are you able to lean your arm on that pole? Yeah. I haven't shot anything in landscape. I should do some landscape ones. <laughs> and can we do some where you're facing out that way a little bit more? That looks so cool with that little vine wrapped around the pole and everything. I'll get a close-up shot of you here too. So those are my composition tips when shooting in an urban location. I'd love to know in the comments which one was your favorite one. And also I'd love if you would subscribe to my channel as well if you enjoyed this video. But thank you guys so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you all next time. Bye.